what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The ex-girlfriend of soccer star Jerome Boateng was found dead one week after he announced they had split up. Kasha Linhart, who rose to fame after appearing on Germany's Next Top Model in 2012, was found dead by Berlin police in a home Tuesday. Investigators are not treating her death as suspicious. Berlin police reported a lifeless person was found in the city's upscale Charlottesburg section late Tuesday and that investigators believe Kasha took her own life. Yesterday around 8.30 p.m., there was a police operation in Charlottesburg on suspicion of suicide, Berlin police said. There are no indications of third-party negligence. Kasha is survived by her son, Noah, who is from a previous relationship that ended three years ago. Apparently, her and Jerome, they split up because of his infidelity. He even went on social media and apologized to his wife, his kids, his family. He basically said that it was the right thing to do because of his family. So she posted some messages on her social media. And I'll tell you what the last one was in a moment. But first, this guy was a member of the Bayern Munich football team. He was a defender, very, very popular dude. He went on social media and he posted to his 7 million Instagram followers all of the updates before deleting them. So apparently the fans or him or both felt some type of way once they got word that she had committed suicide. Let's take a look at the mental analytics. Kasha was 25 years old. She hasn't seen and experienced everything, but she's experienced enough to know that relationships come and go. She's already been through the heartbreak of perhaps high school sweetheart and at least her baby's father, whom she broke up with three years prior. She has a five-year-old, depending on when his birthday was. He was born in 2015. So, you know, she's had a, a little experience with guys to know that life goes on. I do believe that people who commit suicide, I think if they would just slow down, pump the brakes and breathe, you know, respect the process. Allow yourself to cry like crying is part of the process. Being heartbroken is part of the process. When you are rejected or you lose someone that you really want to be with, that person want to move on. Y'all break up, y'all just can't be together. So I think when things like that happen, a lot of times people just, they snap. And they act like the world is coming to an end. And that's not the case. As long as you're breathing, you got action. Fam, how many times have you thought you couldn't get through something? You thought the world was coming to an end. You was like, good God. I mean, you were just like at that wall and you was like, there's nothing else to do but kill myself. And you got through it. He was like, what, what's the purpose of living? Man, I can't. And you got through it. So far, every single crisis you've ever faced in your life, you've managed to get through it. If you were a baseball player, you'd be the richest ball player and the greatest ball player of all times because you would be batting 1,000. You'd be perfect. If people would just understand that 
Tomorrow is a new day. It gives you an opportunity to get up out there and start over. Hit the reset button. And think about this, fam. Oftentimes, if you are a good person, if you really are deserving of someone really good, chances are that person who did not realize your value, they're going to end up with somebody far worse. They're going to have a just a bad life with relationships. They're not going to have, their relationship in the future is not going to be prosperous. I've seen this with my own eyes time and time and time again. I've seen where people who hurt others, who betray, backstab, cheat, they end up with someone far worse than the person they cheated on or the person they left behind. Happens all the time. I do believe Success is the best revenge because it is a sweet thing to know that you moved on to greener pastures. Your life is even better than it was before you was with this person you thought you couldn't live without. You kept going forward. And if you just take a glimpse in the rearview mirror, that person is so far behind you in life. Not necessarily material stuff, because that's not that. That stuff is fleeting. I'm talking about life, growth, maturity as a human being. That person hasn't grown at all. It's something sweet about that. You know, not wishing bad on somebody, but just knowing that you're doing better without that person. And that person recognizes it too because when they see you out there doing well for yourself without them, they say to themselves, damn, I messed up. I made the wrong choice. On the other hand, if they find out you committed suicide, they say to themselves, ooh, man, I dodged a bullet. Thank God I broke up with him. Thank God I broke up with her. Unstable. Kasha's last message, now is where you draw the line, enough. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?